Hello and welcome to the program. I am Oyi Adekunle. Southwest governors have kicked against plans to place the regional security outfit codenamed Amotekun under the Nigerian police force. The senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garba Sheu, had earlier said the structure of the security agency would be defined by the inspector general of police. But the governors have raised objections to this position, saying Amotekun will be entirely regulated by the state government. Recall that President Buhari recently approved 13.3 billion naira for the takeoff of community policing across the country. And another thing Southwest governors are saying is that they will not fund that initiative. All right, joining me now to discuss this is Debo Adeniro, who is the chairman of the uh, Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, CACO. Mr. Adeniro, thank you very much for joining us on the program. First off, what do you make of this statement by the presidency now saying that uh, it wants Amoteko to be, uh, to be subsumed under the Nigeria Police Force? Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Amotekun is not a federal government uh, agency. Uh, it is a re regional agency. Actually, it is uh, uh, a, an agency created by a cooperative endeavor that exists between those states that uh, are in the western part of Nigeria. So if it is not a federal agency, it cannot be subsumed under the control and uh, uh, command of uh, the Nigerian police force. As a matter of fact, it is a separate entity from the Nigerian police force and it has to be treated as such. At best, it could be described as a regional you know, police service which is uh, a fallout of uh, inadequacies that have been observed in what has been happening within the Nigerian police force. If Nigerian police force, under the command of the Inspector General of Police, had been performing their duty in, uh, as efficient, I, I mean, as, as efficiently and uh, effectively as um, everybody expected it, there wouldn't have been any need for anybody to meet the idea that there should be a regional police force or that uh, people will have to help themselves in order to safeguard their lives and property. So basically, it is unnecessary, it is anti-federalism for the president to have said that uh, it will be, I mean, Amotekun will be brought under the command of Nigeria police. It is not supposed to be acceptable. As a matter of fact, it is re re reprehensible because it's, um, it's a sign of uh, 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 shamelessness on the part of the federal authorities to want to uh to want to benefit, to, to, to want to reap where they didn't sow. And, you know, the, the essence of both bodies, let me use bodies now, that's Amoteko and the Nigeria Police Force, would be security of mm. lives and properties, which we all agree that's that right. is very crucial. So is this that's about right. the government wanting to reap where it did not sow, or what exactly are your reservations to what the government My is result. trying to do? Because if it's about security, then we should be working together. The governor's actually said that uh, the Amotekun would be, would be working with the police. So what exactly is the case here? Yes, Amotekun is only expected to cooperate with the police, not that they should take instruction from the police force. Uh, like I said earlier, Amatekon is not part and parcel of police force. Police force has its own uh, 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 act that set it up. Police force has its own detachment. It has um, uh, different commands in different states of the federation. They have their department. They have you know uh, divisions and so on and so forth. They are supposed to have worked out all the modalities that will make setting up of an amatekon unnecessary. But because all of these states commands, the D division, uh, the divisional arrangement, and even uh, several other units of the police have not been effective enough. They have not been efficient enough. That was why 
Amateco became necessary. Now, if we have to subsume the authority of Amateco under that of the uh, federal police force, that means that the same problem that we are running away from, you know, by setting up the Amateco uh, security outfit, will still rear their head because it will be the same authorities that have not been able to police every nook and crannies of this country that has made all of the criminals and criminalities to keep on festering in every part of the country that uh, we still resort. Uh, so basically, it is the inadequacies of the police force that led to the emergence of Amateco. If they... If uh, Amatekun authority is subsumed under that of the police, then they are would, the, the, the reason, the name of setting up Amatekun will have been utterly destroyed. And the president recently approved 13.3 billion naira for community policing. And now from what the governors are saying, it means that Amotekun will be operating as a separate entity from the community policing. What exactly is your take on that? Well, people are mixing things up. Uh, Amateco is not a community, it's not within the ambit of community policing. Amateco is more or less like a state police, if you like, or regional police outfit, if you like. It is totally different from the concept of community policing. Community policing is uh, that cooperative endeavor established by the regular police, you know, with members of the public, those who are in the community. The community policing does not uh, presume that uh, there will be called, those will be called, uh, to be called community policemen, uh, that they will wear uniform and they will also parade and do all sort of things. No, they are going to be civilians. They are just going to uh, provide information. They are going to uh, provide logistics, I mean, uh, assistance to the regular police force so that people will be vigilant. People will report crime. People will support the police in apprehending criminals. They will supply information and intelligence to the police. So they are quite different from the concept of Amatekun. Okay, so they should not mix the two up. So the budget of uh, community policing cannot even sustain uh, an Amatekun outfit in the first place because what Amatekun requires includes uh, expensive security gears, including vehicles. Community policing doesn't. Uh, uh, doesn't need to operate with separate vehicles. They don't need security gears. They don't need um, uh, firearms. They don't need ammunition. They don't need all of that. They only need communication gadgets. They need maybe um, data, maybe network, uh, what do you call it, uh, airtime and so on to supply information to the regular police. They, they, they will work hand in hand with the police to uh, apprehend criminals. So there are two different things up together. So it doesn't concern Amatekun at all. And so going by the economic challenges that we currently have, yes. is it financially wise to have both bodies now work as an independent body? You see, the Nigeria police already have adequate budget that could have assisted them in uh, operationalization of uh, community policing. It is just uh, a step ahead of uh, PCRC, uh, Police Community Relations, uh, something like that. No, so that is it's just a step ahead of it because it will be better organized and they will be given areas that will be covered you know, by the community and they will be closely monitored, different from... PCRC that had to be done uh, as uh, volunteers and they just advise the police. They don't necessarily have to supply intelligence to the police. So that is different. They don't have to spend so much about that. I mean, on the committee policing. And that is why 13 point something is, is good enough for the whole country to spend for 
uh, regional police outfits like Amotekon, they require much more. Uh, yes, there could be apprehension as to how the region, I mean, states that constitute the region, will raise resources to, uh, to sustain the operations of Amotekon. But then, the, where there is a will, there will always be a way. Uh, there are several philanthropists that may want to contribute to the success story of Amatekon. And because security of life and property is uh, supposed to be number one priority of any responsible government, so they needed to set aside adequate funds that we make sure that, uh, I mean, that we ensure that the operations of Amatekon is successful. And um, that cannot be controverted. So it is, it is supposed to be their priority. And if they also want to live up to the expectation of a government that has to ensure the security and welfare of the citizenry, they should ensure that the salaries and emoluments and other uh, requirements of our Mr. Deba Adeniro, I'm sorry, but I have to cut you here. Life. But please hold your thoughts. We'll be back after this break to continue the discussion. Cut. All right. What's your name again? Kemi? Yes, sir. Good. Are you ready for us for next week? Yes, sir. Next. Do no, one, sir. Do no. What? Look, what we need here is one who can speak fluent English. Give her a chance. I need a angel to hold me. Hold me, my beautiful angel. Cut. It is angel, not angel. Please, I'm done with you. Excuse us. Kemi was far better. It's not about her rendition. It's not about her performance here. By the time she and her friends join us in our hotel room, <laughs> you will know how far. Can I have her phone? She has a robust profile. She's a real robust profile. I do not undercut professional ethics. It is an act of corruption. Not in my country. Corruption not in my country. Stop corruption now. On DG360, we don't just ask the questions. What is wrong with amending the constitution the way uh, the, the National Assembly members have been doing it? We seek answers. Constitution is constituent. Our problem is not um, lack of laws. Our problem is lack of the willpower to implement our laws. Answers that provide clarity. While we negotiate, we should try to make it a point that the girls must be complete. The clarity you need to make informed judgment so that you can make the right decision and take action. People are saying it is you politicians that are responsible for this, that you are the reason why oh, this is happening. All these dollars that call themselves governors in this country? I wish we had people like Tony at the National Assembly. God forbid that I go to join that family. Uh, DG360. Providing clarity to issues. Welcome back. I still have on the program Mr. Debo Adeniro, who is the chairman of the Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, CACOL, and we're still discussing uh, the Southwest Governor's objection to the regulation of Amotekun by the Nigeria Police Force. As you have rightly said, you, you just pointed out that Am Amotekun requires much more. So I'm just going to paint a, very, a, a picture. So for instance... People, the Amoteco, they have sophisticated they have sophisticated equipment to work with. Mm. And say so those who work, that's the community police now, they do not have, uh, they're not as equipped as the Amoteco officers. Now, do you not mm. see a kind of rivalry occurring in a situation like that? I said community policing doesn't, uh, doesn't have to appear like a separate agency. It is a concept that has to be implemented within the community and it works with volunteers. As a matter of fact, the community policing will also assist Amatekun in one way or the other. It is about reporting crimes 
It is about helping in tracking criminals. It is about uh, making the criminals to face justice. Is it about getting people together to, to provide evidence against criminals, to provide witnesses against the criminals? So it is not a separate outfit that had to go into competition with regional uh, policing, I mean, re regional police entity like Amatekon. So there won't be any rivalry. As a matter of fact, the community policing, it, it will be useful for both conventional police, which is the federal police, and the state police. So basically, there is no basis for rivalry amongst them. And lastly, let me ask you now, because for all of these matters that already arise and the governors have said that they will not be responsible for payment of community police officers and all of that. For the region now, deployment of officers to the region, because for other regions that do not have like a security outfit, how do you yes. see the southwest uh, faring or co when compared with those um, other regions now that do not have their own security outfit in terms of how the community policing system would work? Well, there's a law that has been set up in all the states that have been implementing uh, uh, Amatekon uh, security outfit. That law has provided the mode and uh, means of funding the outfit. That will be uh, statutory, which every state will have to do. They don't really need to use sophisticated weapons. They only need enough weapon to protect themselves if in case they are confronted by the criminals that they are supposed to apprehend. So they are not going to be as equipped as the conventional police. So they may not uh, go that way. Most of them will use traditional means of policing their, their own uh, geographical location. They, they, they know the terrain. They know the geography. They know the, 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 the topography of different areas. They know where any criminal can hide. They know how to root them out. This is why they could be more effective within their region than the federal police where somebody from uh, Calabar could be taken to, to Sokoto, somebody from Ibadan will be taken to uh, Samfara and all of that. Those are not the kind of... Uh, that, uh, those people will not understand the terrain. They may not even understand the language. Now, if within the state, those that, are, those that belong to Amatekum, they understand Yoruba, and anybody that is not speaking conventional Yoruba language will be easily identified. And those who live within uh, uh, an environment, they know the behavioral pattern of their own kinsmen. And anybody with strange behavioral uh, pattern will easily be identified. This is why it became necessary for us to have regional police uh, agency like Amatekon. But community policing is far different. Anybody can be a community police personnel, you mm. know, wearing their regular clothing, behaving in their own regular way. They don't need to chase after the criminals like Amatekon will have to do. They don't need to uh, show their faces as if they are the community policemen. No. Mm. Amatekon, we be in uniform, they have their firearm, they have all other uh, defensive you know, um, uh, machineries and all of that, with which they can safeguard their own life if, excuse me, if they have to be confronted by the criminal. So they are two different things altogether. And I believe that if the state governments actually have you know, the political will followed by public will, because for now, they are enjoying that public support from all the states that are, have operationalized Amatekon. We are expecting, of, for example, it has been on in Ocean State. And in Ocean State, a number of criminals have been apprehended, especially those that are engaging in illegal mining, mining and the rest of it. It's happening in uh, Ondo State. And I believe it's also operational in uh, Ekiti State. We are expecting maybe 
or your, I'm not sure if or your has operationalized Amatekon and Lagos State. Yes. All of these states should also activate the uh, machinery of Amatekon so that the criminals that are running away from one state within the region will not find safe haven in another state that are yet to adopt the Amatekon uh, 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 police, I mean, they are, are yet to operationalize Amatekon police uh, outfit. So basically, I believe they will succeed if they put all their uh, arsenals in place. Thank right. you. Very well said, Mr. Debo Adeniron, the chairman of the Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, CACO. We well, thank you very much for speaking to us on analysis. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Anytime. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode of Analysis. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.